Yeah. Uh, till now, uh, we have covered all the introductory parts of your artificial intelligence. Uh, in previous session, I have said, explained you about uh, what are the basic problem solving methods available as part of your artificial intelligence. That is what uh, we need to cover in the uh, today's session also. So we'll look into some examples uh, of uh, what are the problems which are going to address with respect to your artificial intelligence. Okay. So yeah, uh, this is the agenda for today's session. Uh, previously, we have completed the first point, problem solving uh, through uh, AI. Uh, let us get, uh, get into this actual part of your AI with from some problem solving strategies, uh, which we haven't seen in the previous session. So today, uh, today's agenda is, uh, at the end of today's session, we'll be uh, able to solve some basic problems of your AI. Uh, it's very basic problems, which, which are uh, implemented as part of games uh, in AI, uh, as part of some puzzles in AI, which many of you are already familiar with. Let's once look into those problems, what AI is addressing in terms of technically, or it can be through games, or it can be any puzzles, okay? Uh, with respect to your uh, general problem solving methods as part of your syllabus, uh, we will be trying to learn this session, uh, this part today. Yeah. So these all things were covered in the previous session. I hope everybody uh, is also, I uh, have shared the PPT with you guys. You can just look into this once you're free. Yeah. So today we will be concentrating on this part called as general problem solving with respect to AI. Uh, whenever you are having some, some sort of problem uh, and you want to address some solution to that, what are the things we need to look into? Uh, like, how should I start? So as I said in the previous uh, session, with some examples like uh, if you are given a project with respect to any domain, uh, how you will tackle the things? Uh, you'll be having a team of some members, some 30 to 40 members uh, as a class section and three or four members as a team. So uh, with respect to that, how you will choose your team members uh, according to the problem? You look into many things, right? Uh, first thing is you need to define the problem precisely, that is, how, uh, what, what is the initial state of the project or of the problem? And what are the things I can reach if I want to give some uh, solution? Uh, then you need to analyze the problem problem uh, properly. You need to uh, learn, like, as I said previously, you need to understand the research over there. What are the previously available techniques and how I need to approach. Uh, these all need some analysis. Then you need to uh, keep a task according, according to your teammates. Like I will be dividing, uh, Suppose if I am a team leader, I will be doing such, some sort of ta a task. I will be doing some programming and I will try to give some database oriented things. Likewise, we will divide our task, right? Exactly in the same manner, uh, in the in, when coming to AI, uh, when you're talking about some problem solving in AI, you need to understand the problem properly first. Then only you will be getting into the problem solving techniques and we will try to apply the knowledge according, accordingly. Okay, yeah. So uh, previous things all were covered. And now uh, in previous session, I have uh, sent you this YouTube link in your chat uh, to watch a small video, one minute video about a small problem that is missionaries and cannibals problem. Uh, I hope everybody has just uh, gone through the video. If not, uh, I'll be again sharing this through your, uh, it's already shared through your uh, Google Classroom. That's what I have shared today. Uh, people who have joined in the classroom, uh, Google Classroom, you can watch this one minute video like what is the problem we are going to discuss today. So there is a standard uh, procedure, uh, stand SOP, which should be followed with respect to problem solving in AI. So now today we will be trying to address one a small problem, uh, a, a small solution to a problem called as missionaries and cannibals problem. So uh, when we, in childhood we have also played this game uh, in mobiles, you'll be having a game uh, with respect to this one, that is uh, missionaries and cannibals is a game where uh, Missionaries and cannibals will try to uh, move from one side of river to other side of river. So what is the solution we need to address and how solution can be framed with respect to AI will be discussed in today's session. Okay. Yeah. The problem goes like this, like there are three missionaries and three cannibals on the left side of the left side bank of the river. So uh, there is a small bridge uh, over there. There is not, not a bridge, like there is a water a passage over there, a uh, left side of the river, uh, you will be having uh, you'll be having three missionaries and three cannibals and right side, uh, we, we need to move these people from left side to right side of the river. That is the problem. But here there are some conditions. There is a canoe or we call it as boat in which two people can sit. That is the condition. So at a time only two people can sit because uh, according to the requirement of the boat, if you are having two or more, more than two people, that boat may not 
uh, travel in the opposite direction. That's the reason there are, there's a condition that only two people should travel in the canoe or boat at a time. Yeah, two at a time people get into canoe and row the boat to the other shore. That is, uh, people from left will get into the boat and they will uh, move to the next place called as right side. So in our solution, we call it as left and right of the river. And then one person rows the canoe back because a boat cannot come on its way to the other side again after dropping them. It, there should be a one person who will be rowing the boat to the other side. That's why uh, every time two people will go to that uh, other side and one, pe one of them should again come back and take the other. That is the condition. And one more thing, there's a small condition that at no time can the cannibals outnumber the missionaries. So here, uh, cannibals are something like uh, aliens or what you call, uh, it, it will eat missionaries here. And other side of the uh, cannibals will eat the missionaries because uh, if there are less number of missionaries and more number of cannibals, it will affect the missionaries. The cannibals can eat the missionaries. That's the condition which we need to ensure. And uh, with respect to this condition, that with respect to the condition of boat capacity only two, and can cannibals outnumber uh, missionaries that should not that should not happen with respect to this we need to frame a solution and try to address this problem so uh, in today's session we will like uh, we will look into the step by step procedure at how this problem can be solved so this is only one problem uh, what what we are going to address as of now but when you are talking about ai in regular or general life there are n number of problems or puzzles such type of things which we need to solve through yeah so the, uh, the question here is, what combination of moves should be made to get all six across the river to the right shore? So all six people should move from left to the right. So if you, are, uh, if you have watched this video, that will be very easy for you. Or else I'll just like to uh, play this video for you for just one second. Uh, I hope Nawaz, you can see my YouTube screen, right? If I'm not wrong. Yes, sir, yes, sir. Yeah. Okay. So this is the video. Uh, just watch over the video for one minute. So it looks interesting, right guys? Uh, I hope everybody has just now watched the video, a small animation or game, what you call it. Uh, we will try to uh, just now try to solve this problem with respect to your AI. So when you are looking at the video, it looks very simple that, yeah, somebody is trying to move here, here and there and it looks very simple. But uh, if it, as a computer science student, if you want to address this problem, how will you do that? Okay, yeah. So I just want to give you a small uh, poll like how I'll see how you are understanding the problem. Okay. Yeah. So everybody should answer the poll according to the question what I asked. Yeah, poll is open for you, you can answer. Uh, make it soon guys, you're having less time to answer the poll. Ok, 
Okay, more ten seconds. Twelve options answer. Guys, uh, still ten more uh, are not in the session. Yes, make it soon, guys. You are having only five seconds more. Okay, I have just entered the poll. Uh, Thirty-six of you answered among forty-five. So yeah, remaining nine students. I'll just try to catch you all. So at the end of this, uh, everybody know that at the end of this session, we'll try to ask somebody to brief the session. And if you are unable to uh, do that, then you will be marked absent for today. Okay? Yeah. So now as ensure that some people are alert in your session, section. Many of see, I can see nine of you are. Uh, not attend at the answer. Only 36 of our of them have answered the answer. So I am sharing the results with you guys. 83% uh, of you gave the correct answers. Six people gave the wrong answer. Yeah, uh, I have very clearly said that max in the question it's asked that maximum of how many peop, uh, persons are allowed at a time. So only I am asking that maximum, right? So only two people people can be allowed. So people who have gave answer as one. That is not the maximum radius. It's only uh, minimum. Okay, so uh, follow the question properly. And one of you gave the very uh, wrong answer that three of them can be allowed. So whoever it is, please try to correct yourself. And now let's look into the problem. Okay, so I'll try to ask polls again. I should see all of you answering. So now we'll go on to our uh, PPT. Yeah, Navas, I hope you can see my screen. Yes, sir. Yeah, okay. Yeah, so again, once looking at the overview of the problem, uh, this is what is the problem again. Three missionaries and three cannibals must cross a river using a boat, which can carry at most two people under the constraint that for both banks, that the missionaries present on the bank cannot outnumber by cannibal. That is, cannibal should not be more and missionaries should not be less. That is the condition. The boat cannot cross the river by itself with no people on the boat. So somebody should carry the boat. Let's now look into the solution. So the problem is uh, now very clearly understood. I hope for everybody. So this is a solution. What uh, what is actually uh, possible with respect to your uh, understanding? So initially, uh, whenever you have seen the animated video over there or game, uh, it's very easy. Like people are moving here and there from left to right, and at the end we got some solution. But if you want to technically solve this, you need to write your programming, uh, like how it is going to happen, the conditions should be met properly, the game should be designed in such a way that the conditions are met. So uh, we will try to uh, address now here like, uh, we will be taking missionaries as M and cannibals as C uh, in our solution. Yeah, initially the positions on the left side of the river are zero and uh, uh, right side is zero and zero, that is there are no uh, missionaries on cannibals on the right side. And on the left side, we are having three missionaries and three cannibals. So here on screen, uh, you can see in bracket B, B indicates a boat. That is, boat is on the left side of the river. So here, uh, initially, this should be very clear, guys. Uh, if possible, everybody of you should take a, a book in your hand or paper in your hand and just try to uh, draw like this, whatever I have did here. Yeah. So uh, step by step, you need to write in your book or paper so that that will be easy for you to understand what's happening. So on screen, I'll just uh, write, I have written step by step procedure, like uh, what happens in step one, step two. But if you want to understand this clearly, take a book and a pen uh, in your hand and try to uh, solve it step by step. Okay. Yeah. So uh, step one, what we should do is uh, we should try to send two cannibals to the left of the bank. Why? Because in a boat, two people can be allowed at a time. We will try to move two cannibals. So our mission, our mission here is uh, missionaries should not be killed by the cannibals. So initially, I'll be taking two people to the left side of my river. So I will be left out uh, in the right side. I'll be left out with three missionaries and one cannibal, and boat is on the left side of the river. That's what is my step one. So even in examinations, whenever it's asked for you, uh, you need to give solution step by step. So uh, guys, uh, you can expect this type of sort of questions in your examinations, like the puzzles or the questions, uh, whatever we are discussing now, 
that can be asked as part of your examinations so you need to listen uh, properly and try to understand the solution okay yeah so moving on to step 2 uh, in step 2 again what we will do we are on the left side of the river uh, and we need to come to the right right send one cannibal from left to the right because a boat should come from left to right we are sending one cannibal again to the right side so uh, we are left out with zero missionary uh, missionaries on the left side one cannibal again the left side and again on the right side you are having three missionaries and two cannibals so like this you need to note it step by step in your, uh, in, your uh, in your book and you need to give a solution okay yeah in step three you can see uh, again you can carry two people to the left side we are again sending two cannibals to the left so again uh, at the end what you're having here zero zero members uh, of missionaries and three of the cannibals will be on the left side and on the right side you are having three missionaries and no cannibals that is zero cannibals so again one of them should move from left to right so in step four we are sending one cannibal to the right so uh, we will be left out with zero missionaries on the left side two cannibals i hope everybody is uh, following the session you can just drop a uh, yes in the chat so that i can uh, move on to the next slides or else should i recall this anybody can just respond to your chat okay yeah so we'll move on to the step 5 yeah so uh, in step 5 uh, we'll be sending two missionaries again to the left because uh, there again uh, we are already we already have cannibals left over in the left side yeah so now we are left with two missionaries two cannibals in the left side that is the equivalence so there are no cannibals uh, there are not uh, cannibals are not overcoming the missionaries here so we are having two missionaries and two cannibals and on the right side uh, uh, you are having one missionary and one uh, cannibal right so in step 6 again we will send one missionary and one cannibal to the right because uh, if i if i keep cannibals uh, here only then that that may eat the missionaries that's why we are sending one missionary and one cannibal to the right so if there is an equal number of missionaries and cannibals that will not affect the missionaries only condition is if cannibals are more and missionaries are less then only that may affect the missionary okay yeah so moving on uh, in step 7 again we are moving two missionaries to the left uh, so that's the reason I asked you all to take a pen and paper uh, so that you can just write the uh, understand the scenario by noting down. Uh, at the end, we'll get a solution like all six of them will be moved on to the left side of the river. So this is the step by step procedure what we'll follow. Uh, follow. Uh, in step eight, again I'm moving on. Like say, I'll send one cannibal to the right. Uh, so here we are left out with three missionaries and no cannibals. Then that is a no, not a problem because all missionaries came at the one side now the task is we need to get all the cannibals to the left side of the river one by one that's so easy yeah so in step nine uh, again what we will do you will send two cannibals to the left so we will be having three missionaries and two cannibals so in the step 10 again one cannibal again will be moved on to the right so at the end in step level all of them will be coming on to the left side of the river so this is a solution what we can give with respect to this problem of AI. So now, uh, previously when I saw the video, it was very easy for me to just watch it what's happening over there. But now when I when I try to give solution on myself, we are trying to follow some 11 sequence of steps. So this is what is my analysis, but this is not a uh, quick solution what everybody will get, right? This is a solution which is already available. So whenever you are trying to address this type of real time problems, you may uh, look into n number of possibilities. Yeah. Okay. So at the end of this, uh, again, I have kept this uh, video, one more link, which will be shared with you now. And you can see a solution, whatever I have given now, step by step. So like how it is passing from here to there, whatever it's, it's similar to whatever we have seen in the previous video. So I hope everybody is now uh, understanding what is that we are discussing how the questions can be uh, asked in terms of your examinations, how uh, how answers should be given by you. So this type of questions will be definitely asked as part of your examinations. So you need to be uh, ready with the solutions step by step. Then only it will be easy for us to understand. Okay. So uh, according to this 11 sequence of steps, we have finally reached the uh, destination. That is all the missionaries and cannibals have crossed the river safely. Okay. Yeah.
Uh, just give me one second. I'll just. I have got a small question here. After completion of present slide, can you once again show us the previous slide so that we can note down? Sure, definitely. Yeah. So this is what uh, is the. I'll just come from starting. This is again uh, just a, as a, a revision. So this is the problem what we are going to solve in today's session. Like you will we'll be having three missionaries and three cannibals uh, on the one bank of the river. We need to move uh, all of them to the other bank of the river through a canoe or call it as boat. So the conditions here are only two people will be allowed in a boat at a time. And other condition is cannibals should not be more in number at a uh, one bank of river than missionaries so that if they are more in number, they will try to uh, eat the missionaries. That is the condition. So with these two conditions, we need to move all those people onto the other bank of the river. So what are the plausible solutions which we can give so that we will be able to solve this problem? Okay, this is already a solved problem. So we are having a ready-made solution here. So there are n number of uh, such type of tasks which we can uh, try to address with respect to AI. Okay, yeah. So here it is a solution uh, which we are having step by step solution. Yeah, so definitely I'll try to uh, share these uh, slides once I complete my class. Don't worry about uh, one by uh, step by step uh, uh, notes. You need to try uh, in your own way. So before taking on the solution, just try to apply the knowledge of uh, whatever you know about this game and try to give solutions. So here we have got some standard 11 steps, but you may get a number of steps because initially you're going to solve it in a number of ways. That is what happens in our regular life whenever you are trying to solve some problem. We will be having a uh, number of thought process and we will try to give random solutions. In the same manner, uh, at the end, we will try to get some solution. So uh, finally, this solution, uh, this problem has 11 sequence of steps which need to be followed. If anybody can find a better solution than this 11 number of steps, definitely that, pro that solution will be having more prominence. Okay? Yeah. So now I'll just uh, show you that actual uh, scenario what happened with this 11 steps here. So yeah, so here you can see uh, red color symbols here are cannibals because they are some about danger. Uh, they'll try to uh, consume the missionaries. Yeah, blue color indicates missionaries. Yeah, so there is a boat over here which is trying to move from left to the right of your river. So here this is a scenario of your problem, a solution to your problem or we call it as a overview of your problem and I said in the previous session uh, whenever you are going to address the problems with respect to artificial intelligence any problem need to come across two important things the solution can be with respect to a graph or with respect to a tree so now we will try to represent a tree based representation of this problem so how initially a problem has been uh, occurred a number of most strategies we need to represent this as part of your tree structure Okay, this problem is not only solved uh, now, it's, it's been solved a number of years ago. You can apply your breadth first, uh, BFS algorithm, breadth first search algorithm and try to solve this problem. Yeah, so all these things are uh, possible. This is just a sample example what I want you to understand how problems in AI can be solved. So this is a manual uh, solution what we have given, but uh, if you are talking technically, you'll be having a program with respect to this. Uh, you need to write a logic, you need to frame the conditions properly, and you need to write the solution effectively. So for this problem, already a game is available, uh, so that the solution is already available. So in the upcoming sessions, I will try to give more assignments uh, for you in terms of these type of problems. Yeah, already I have shared you a problem uh, in your Google Classroom. You can just visit Google Classroom after this class. Uh, and I have given a small problem, a small understanding of problem, uh, which you need to give me a solution. Upon completion of this class, uh, your sessions, you can uh, just look into the problem, uh, write a solution to that. It's a very small problem, which you can look over there. Uh, over there. You need to take a piece of paper, uh, write your roll number and solution step by step and upload it into your classroom. That is the task which you need to do by uh, today. And uh, before coming to tomorrow's class, I will look into all those assignments, what you are going to submit. Okay. So all this will be uh, included as part of your assignment. It doesn't take uh, much time, guys. It will be taking only uh, five minutes of your time to solve the problem. It's a very basic problem which you can look into. 
so everybody can just uh, move on to your google classroom and see that problem is available so people who didn't who you have, have not yet joined the google classroom you need to join the classroom yeah okay so this is what uh, is about missionaries and cannibals problem so uh, i'll just make one more uh, small poll here for you guys let's see uh, what is your understanding So guys, I'm just uh, giving you a poll. You need to answer and people who are not answering, you will be caught at the end of this session. You need to uh, brief my session, uh, all these problems, whatever I'm discussing. And today, if anybody is not doing that, uh, definitely you will be marked absent. Okay, I'm launching a poll uh, as of now. Uh, oh, one second. Yeah, 48 people are here and I need all the answers. Forty-three have answered correctly. Uh, still, five of you need to answer. Okay, you are having five more seconds. Still, four of you need to answer, guys. So I'm going to close. Yeah. So yeah, uh, 36 of you gave uh, correct answers. So everybody, uh, polls is open open for you all now. You can see your results. Eight people have gave wrong answer. I don't know why again. The conditions are very clearly explained. Can a boat travel empty from left to right? How how is it possible? Eight people who have gave the wrong answers. Can you answer me how how that is possible? I, very, I have very clearly said that if two people go from uh, one place to left to right, one of them should again come back because a boat cannot be empty. Still, uh, eight people who are not following class properly, try to correct yourself, look into the question properly. You need to be present here. Okay? So, yeah. Uh, with this, I just want to uh, end this poll and we'll move on to the next next topic. Okay, I have just got some small message here. I'll just look into that. Taking some time. Okay, uh, this is one more problem which I want to uh, make you all understand with respect to your AI. So hope everybody uh, can see my screen. Nawaz, you can just respond once. Yes, sir. Are you able to see my screen? Yes, sir. Okay, chal. Yeah, thank you. 
so this is what uh, i have already shared this content ppt through you, uh, for you in the previous session only so just go to the ppt so that i can discuss yeah so this is one more problem we need, uh, which we need to understand how ai is able to solve of many problems this is a game called as tiktok toy it's a, a game played by children uh, in 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 number of ways yeah so we also call it as uh, different x cross or different uh, x o cross or game uh, there are a number of names for this game where uh, in a row or column if all the symbols are same then they will be treated as win so you can see on the screen uh, a youtube link uh, given to you which i'll share with you you can just watch the video uh, how solution is being framed for this problem okay yeah the problem uh, here is tic tac toy uh, which is also known as knots and crosses or x and os is a paper and pencil game which will be played by children uh, even we have played in a number of ways in our in our uh, schooling which is only for two players where uh, people will be uh, taking on x or o or any other variable who takes turns uh, marking the spaces in 3 by 3 grid so you will be having a 3 by 3 grid here the nine possibilities where you need to take a pencil and write in your in the boxes here in, up to your choice the player who succeeds in playing three of their marks in a horizontal vertical or diagonal any of the things horizontal vertical uh, or it can be uh, a, a diagonal also they will be winning the game so everybody uh, i know uh, almost everybody know this game so let's try to uh, give solutions uh, about how this game can be uh, give, given the solution okay the rules here are the game is to be played between two people that is uh, here we are considering about a human and a computer so assume that there is only uh, myself here and i am playing with a computer so now we need to uh, talk in terms of computer how it is trying to uh, compete a human that is what uh, is a problem of your ai right when we talk about ai notation we are trying to add some intelligence to a machine so as a human being i might be having my own understanding like how to play a game but the task here is how we need to make a computer or a machine try to compete with a human being so this is a game which will be played with, uh, with respect to a computer and there is the solution whatever they have given has never failed with a human being that is a human being never won a game with a computer in this approach that is what is the solution of this uh, game let's look into this problem clearly one of the player chooses o and other x to mark their respective cells so if computer chooses x i'll be choosing o then i'll try to play my game the game starts with one of the player and the game ends with one of the player has only one row or column diagonal filled with his or her respective character suppose if i take x if i uh, choose middle of my uh, nine grid if i choose fifth one then a computer can choose any of the other things right in the same manner the game will move on if no one wins the game will be considered as tie or we call it as draw yeah so in order to solve this uh, solution solve the solve this problem we need to go deeper and we need to think how this can be how this game has been invented or how a computer is trying to look into uh, n number of solutions not only this game called as tiktok toy uh, you are also having uh, many other solutions like a tower of hanai problem which can be solved through ai okay yeah so these all things uh, we need to keep in your mind whenever you are looking into a, uh, developing a small application or game or with respect to any puzzle so tiktok toy is a zero sum and perfect information game so it follows these two principles so we'll uh, we'll talk about that what is this uh, zero sum and what is perfect information so it means that each participant's gain is equal to other participants loses and we have we know everything about the current game state so that's that's very simple guys uh, as a, as you already know about game if i uh, try to select one of the suppose if i say i'll be looking at that i'll be marking the third third row or third column of my uh, game then i'll be having two chances uh, to my down and to my left that's what is a possibility or i'll be having three chances i can keep it diagonally also so in a two player a versus b game if player a scores x points player b loses x points the total should be equal to 0 that's that's the condition x minus x equal to 0 gain minus loss should be equal to 0 that's the condition yeah so if i want to develop such type of problem uh, the problem of tiktok toy has been developed using a algorithm called as min max algorithm yeah this is very important understanding because min max problem can be used for n number of 
games. So whenever you are having some optimization problems, whenever you are having some puzzle related problems, we will try to go on to min-max algorithm. Yeah. So as we are new to this uh, AI area, as we are new to this data, uh, even you are not covered, done with your data mining uh, aspects, I cannot say that directly you'll be able to, oh my, 